In this video, I'm going to show you how you can reduce the chances of getting your car stolen for under £10. And also, we're going to go over the most stolen and the least stolen cars in the US and the UK. Now this video only applies to cars with keyless entry and keyless ignition. Usually both go hand in hand, but not always. Sometimes, car sometimes cars with keyless ignition don't have keyless entry. But that aside, how do you reduce the chance of getting your car stolen? Well, quite simply, by using one of these. Now, how a keyless entry car works is you have your normal key fob like this, and this is constantly sending out a signal to the car, which is always looking for a signal to receive. And what happens is that thieves will intercept that signal, and by intercepting the signal, they can gain access to the car and also to the ignition system and drive it off without activating the alarm. So this is where this piece of equipment comes in. It's a simple pouch but with a specific lining inside it. And what this, is, what this pouch is called is called a Faraday pouch. And what this does, it prevents the signal from being transmitted from your key fob. So effectively all you do is you pop your key in Make sure it's sealed, and that's all you need to do. Very straightforward. So let's see this in practice. So here is a typical car with a keyless entry system and a keyless ignition. So effectively, you have the key in your pocket, which is this kind of key here. And uh, you approach the car. As you approach the car, you see the car opens up. There we have it, and all you do, you sit inside, and then once the key is inside the vehicle, you press the start button, and the car will start. And when you're exiting the vehicle, all you do is you touch a button on the outside of the car, and that locks the car. So let me just do that again. So when you want to lock the car, all you do is you touch an outside button and that locks the car. So let's see how effective the Faraday pouch is. So the pouch is in my hand, the keys are inside. and you can't get entry to the car. So obviously very effective. But it does have one or two drawbacks, as I'll show you in a minute. So what are the drawbacks of the Faraday pouch? Well, for one thing, you have to change your habits. As soon as you enter, the car, as soon as you enter your house, you have to put the key inside the pouch, but you can also get Faraday boxes as well, which are far more convenient if you have more than one car. And secondly, these pouches don't last forever. As the key is inserted and then taken out constantly, the lining will of course deteriorate and as a result the signal will eventually get through again. So in my experience a pouch like this costs under £10 and it lasts for about six months. But for £10 for six months security I think it's definitely worth it. So at the beginning of the video we talked about the most vulnerable cars that are most likely to be stolen and in the UK out of the top 10 three of them were Range Rover or Land Rover brands and certainly in the, in the US as well it's the same as well in the top 15 or rather in the top 10 there's at least two Land Rover products that are in there but the question is what are the least most stolen cars and the top most stolen cars in the UK are the Ford Fiesta, the Ford Focus and the Volkswagen Golf and then you get onto the Mercedes C-Class and the Range Rover and I'll put a, the list up on the screen here but also in the US obviously car brands differ there slightly and the top we have the top 15 list from Forbes magazine I'll put that list up here as well and the top three are the Dodge Charger and of course the, the Infiniti Q50 but the question is what are the least stolen cars in the UK and the US. Now certainly in the US is the Tesla Model 3 and the Tesla Model Y. Now if you didn't know the Tesla Model Y is the best selling vehicle worldwide and it is the least likely car to be stolen 
in the US, which is quite surprising. So it just shows you how good their security is. And one of the reasons why their security is so good is because they have a pin to drive option on all their cars. And I'll show you how that works just now. So let me show you how the pin pad works in a Tesla. It's very similar in all cars. So, so how this works is that when you enter the car, you press your foot on the brake pedal and when you enter and when you press your foot on the brake pedal a pin pad comes up now the thing is the pin pad will come up in a different position every time it appears so therefore no one can really guess what the pin is by the fingerprints so you enter the code I'll just put my camera to one side you enter the code and then the screen becomes active and then the car becomes active and then all you do is that you select the gear that you're you, sorry you select the gears so you press down the gear selector and then the car becomes active there's no start button um, so effectively once the pins activated that's it but you can switch it off um, if you just go to gosh where's it security I think safety and you can actually switch the pin to drive off you can also have a pin for the glove box as well if you're uh, giving your car to someone else um, so but there are so many options on this um, on this car that uh, far more than most others so that's how the pin to drive works on a Tesla and it doesn't matter which one it is it can be the Cybertruck the SE X or Y so uh, all they're all the same they're all very much the same so please, if you have any comments, put them down below. But thanks for watching, and please like and subscribe, and until next time, I'll catch you in the next one. In this video, I'm going to show you how to reduce the chance of getting your car stolen for under £10. And we're also going to go over the most stolen and the least stolen cars in the world. Bollocks. Right, start again.